We use them to call, text, and post to social media. Now researchers are using cell phone data for something much more serious. They're determining if you and your family will evacuate when a hurricane is about to hit. News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval is here with what they're finding. Yeah, Matt and Lisa, we found out it has been several years since a statewide regional evacuation study like this has been done. The last time, 2010, and researchers used a phone survey that basically asked people, would you evacuate if the orders went out? This time, they actually used cell phone data, and it shows fewer people than first thought are likely to leave their homes. The study conducted with the University of Central Florida tracked the movements, or pings, of hundreds of thousands of cell phones across the state as their users faced three hurricanes. Matthew in 2016, Irma in 2017, and Michael in 2018. The results helped researchers estimate who would evacuate. For example, if a Category 3 hurricane was coming, an average of 68% of those who live along the coastlines of Brevard, Volusia, and Flagler counties would evacuate their homes when the order was issued. That's fewer than the 76% predicted in 2010. I think it's definitely more realistic. Michelle Chikowsky says that's because this study actually followed real people. As the director of emergency management, she says members of her East Central Florida Regional Planning Council will use this data to plan for how many shelters they may need. We want people to go to those shelters as a last resort. We, we want them to depend on those friends and families and go more inland and not have to depend on the government. To get to those friends and families, the study estimates coastal evacuees will head out in more than 240,000 vehicles. With more people moving to Central Florida every day, that number could go up by 10,000 in just five years. It is stressful. New 6 traffic safety expert Steve Montiero says a lot of the stress that his fellow troopers deal with during evacuations could be prevented if people plan for a worst case scenario. All right, I, I have a kit. I'm ready, but I don't think the average person goes through the process in their head. All right, what does it take for me to get from point A to point B with the possibility of not returning to point A? You can always be proactive. You don't have to wait for your county officials to tell you to leave. You can always leave early. OK, I'm going to repeat this once again. Emergency management leaders I spoke with say that those emergency shelters should be your last option. They say the best plan has you and your family moving inland, staying with friends and family, and they say that plan needs to be made now, not at the last minute when a storm is right at your doorstep. Look, I don't want to miss the message here, but did government leaders get their hands on all this data? The, Sounds the a little like data? Big Brother to me. <laughs> it does. We actually checked that out. Uh, the state did not have that data. They don't have that data. Okay. Uh, the Office of Emergency Management actually funded this study, which was conducted by a research firm. They accessed mm. that data and they presented okay. this report. All right. Very interesting, yeah. Eric. Thank you. We do mm -hmm. want to bring in Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrells now. So, Tom, uh, what do you make of this study? I think it's great. I'm glad they were able to get that data. And yeah. I can't believe Matt's afraid of the government having your data. <laughs> you post on Facebook, you pay taxes, and you're on TikTok. I mean, we're everywhere. They know it's where true. we are. Um, I think it's great we were able to get our hands on that. And I am stunned and shocked that it's 68%. Like the lady said, I think that's a more realistic number. I really, in my heart, think probably even fewer folks would take off. Mm. People always tend, it's human nature. Mm -hmm. You think it's not going to happen to me. You have survivors bias to where we've gone through several things before. Mm -hmm. I've made it so far. It, it, it's encouraging to me that 68% would take off. We can only hope. I can only hope that it would do better, but I fear that, that maybe that number's too high. So love the mm -hmm. data. Love it. Love those data points.